Legion, Season 2, Episode 9, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 17. Another episode of Love, Spoilers for everything X-Men leading up to and including this episode. The episode is rated TVMA, so this video be let's dive right in. So, I appreciate seeing how Oliver gradually, or Farouk, gradually took over, got, you know, yeah, got Melanie to, to help and, you know, we see the um, bit where Sid is trying to, to talk to her. You know, yeah, we, it's the same lines. I believe the camera work and editing are slightly different. And after that, we see Carrie try to help in the most Carrie way possible. You know, when when Sid talks to to Melanie, she's like, "So, um, I don't want to be too pushy, but Fukuyama was asking, um, w w are are you ready to go back to work?" And and you know, Carrie's like, "Yo, lady, we got stuff to deal with. Are you ready or not?" You know, and and when Melanie is like slightly waffling, she's like, "You know what? I'm gonna go." There are bags I could punch right now, you know, just, yeah. And, and you know, yeah, Melanie is is talking and, and Carrie's like, okay, you're having a senior moment, goodbye, you know, just, yeah. And the, let's see, right, I quite appreciate that when Melanie sees Oliver, she actually pulls a gun on him and he's like, um... What perchance have I done to offend the lady? You know, just because she knows, she knows that you know. There's, yeah. For for one thing, there's some chance that this is a trick. You know, she the last she saw Oliver was possessed by Farouk, and you know, yeah, she's also frustrated that he left. And let's see. Um, right, I appreciate this very empathetic depiction of this, the, you know, the fear of aging, which is, you know, we have a problem in Western culture. Uh, I, I can't speak to the rest of the world, but Western culture, we are way too brutally unforgiving when, when people age, you know, and, and yeah, you know, Melanie straight up says, I was worried that you wouldn't recognize me, that you wouldn't, you know, that you would feel differently because I aged, you know. Right, I, I quite appreciate when, when Oliver explains she should have burnt the suit with him in it so that he wouldn't be stuck in an ice cube. He would be, you know, off in this cosmic adventure. Just, yeah. And let's see. The, um... Right, I, I appreciate the, the various, you know, yeah, the different characters trying to, to fulfill what David, the, the ideas he planted in their heads, you know, the, the Carrie is talking about, okay, so we both saw it, David planted it, you know, and they, yeah, they put the, the weapon in the car and take the car there, and, and yeah, you know, Carrie with a K is like, we could use the weapon, you know, we don't have, you know, do we have to just leave it here for someone else to say, you know. And, yeah, they, they go into the, the restaurant, you know. And just these, you know, they, they have this exchange where, you know, yeah, um, the the... This thing of, you know, Melanie, you know, I think she might be blue. Like the color. No, 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 I mean, I, I'm like, melancholy. And why do you say blue? It's, it's an expression, like, having too much time on your hands. You know, just, she holds up her hands like, I never thought, how much, t do, is, is the amount of time on my hands appropriate you know just i'm asking for a friend you know just yeah she's i really like her character and you know yeah he just drops the the you know i am going to die one day 
I mean, I'm dying to party, you know, just, and, and I love, I love her response, you know, you are not going to die. I will stab death twice before he has a chance to get to you, you know, just as gruesome and implausible an image as that is, it is somewhat comforting. And the, let's see, yeah, I, I love Lenny's journey in the episode. Yeah, once she's free, yeah, of course she goes back, you know. And this thing of, you know, are you the new Barbara? No, I'm the new Janine. Who's Janine? She was the new Barbara. <laughs> you know, and at first she's like, I'm back. And they're like, mm -hmm. and And, yeah, you know, Cornflakes Girl. And I love that. So she's apparently, uh, yeah, we don't know her name, at least at this point. She's just listed in the credits as blonde woman. Vanessa Dubazzo, fantastic performance, absolutely nails it. You know, she, before Cornflakes, yeah, it's just, I'm Lenny, cool. Cornflakes girl, cool. You know, I love when you could take, it's the same word, you know, but because of how she delivers it, it's clearly completely different meaning. And the, let's see, yeah, you know, uh, we should throw a party, looks like you are. No, I mean a party, you know, which, yeah, you know, if you're constantly getting high, you know, where, where do you go from there? Where is, what is the next level when you want to celebrate something? And let's see, right, I like the row of bongs. And let's see, the, the... Yeah, you know, every so often Lenny still does see Amy, and I love when, you know, at one point she's, you know, if you're going to hang around, you know, you you could just leave, you know, if you're going to hang around, I mean, what I did to, to this girl, that was a kid's birthday party to the Caligula crap, I'm going to get up, to, you know, just, yeah, and, and the part where Amy just asks over and over, are you a good person? You know, which is, of course, something that really gets to, to Lenny. And the, um, let's see. Um, yeah, at, at, you know, at one point, like, in, in bed, you know, Lenny sees Amy and she's like, I gotta get rid of her. So, you know, she straddles her and, and is, like, suffocating her. And then she's just in another part of the room, just, yeah, um, really, really fantastic bit of, you know, I like when Lenny, you know, is, is like, nice body, you know, just, and let's see, then we have, um, yeah, you know, ultimately, after, after a while, Lenore finally does agree to, you know, go and, and do what... Oh, right, I also, I love when, when, you know, Blonde Woman is, like, poking at the ceiling. And we just, we know that in any second now, you know, something nasty is going to come out of there. And, you know, Lenore is like, have you guys ever seen an electric octopus? And Squirrel Guy is like, yes. Oh, wait, I thought you meant Ocelot. But yeah, eventually she does go, you know, she goes to the Blue Octopus, gets in the car, and <laughs> it teleports to, to like, which explain you know, we've seen it in, in the, you know, the couple of times we've seen David's, the, the ideas he plants, you know, the implants, the impasse in the relationship, and... Yeah, you know, frequently the car's on fire. Now we know why. And isn't just isn't that just the way you teleport your car to where you need to go, or at least close to, and it catches fire? You know, the engine breaks down. Just if I had a nickel for every time that happened to me, I would not have any nickels. And yeah, I love that. Like she starts to leave, and then she's like, "Oh, right." the weapon, you know, I'm here for something, you know, and, and she has to, like, kick the, the, um, yeah, 
the whatever the the back part of the car open to get the way because you don't want to touch it. You know the car's on fire. How about yours? And the let's see, I think that right. Also, a great scene when you know Melanie is walking through the halls of the of division and division headquarters and you know like this this is a lot to ask an actress she or you know any actor she is literally verbally out loud saying the answers to questions that her character can hear in her head but there's not another actor there you know yeah she does a really solid job. It really does feel like she's having a conversation rather than just reciting dialogue or answering questions at the very least. And I think that is all that I have to say for for this episode. But yeah, just really love this episode. You know, this is one of those shows where even when not a lot is happening, this this is not the best episode to, to bring that up for, but there there have been some episodes leading up to this one where not that much happened plot-wise. You know, we were, you know, there was one entire episode where David was helping others out of the, you know, they were, they were trapped in mazes, and he was helping them out of that. Then there was an entire episode where he's helping Sid out of hers. I love those episodes, I'm not saying, but just yeah, this is one of those shows where even when an episode does not have a lot of plot progression, it doesn't feel like it's just, you know, wasting time or, or yeah. I think that is... Oh, right, right. Uh, and apparently this episode was directed by show creator Noah Hawley. And let's see. <laughs> yeah, um, MDB Trivia. This first one confirmed what I thought from from hearing it, from hearing them talk about it. The play that New Janine was telling Lenny about, where they waited and waited for a man to show up and he didn't, is the play Waiting for Godot. I haven't watched that, but I've heard that there's significantly more to that play than just waiting for a guy who doesn't show up. And I love Lenny's like, men. But the I love that description of it. That is that is a work of art. Just yeah. Um, let's see. I think Kyle Colgren did a video on. I, I remember him talking about. It. I forget if it's a video specifically on that one play or if he was bringing it up to to talk about other stuff. And apparently, the scene where Lenny gets in the car and then the car glows green and disappears is a nod to Repo Man, the 1984 movie. Gonna have to take their word for it. And yeah, um, gonna try to do the next episode tomorrow. So there's two episodes, yeah, episodes 10 and 11 of this season are all that's left of the season. Um, yeah, this is building very nicely. I'm guessing the final episode is gonna resolve the whole thing in the in the desert with Farouk's body. So I don't know exactly what they're going to do the very next episode. I guess maybe there's going to maybe we're going to follow up on cuz we don't know exactly what's going to happen now that Clark was knocked out and and Melanie like hid him. But yeah, um yeah, really excited to to see what happens next. Yeah. Um I we we should all have someone in our lives who so badly don't want us to ever die that they would stab death in the heart twice before they got a chance to get a hold of us. <laughs>